It starts off saying to brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand. This um, includes like opening the tube and applying your toothpaste, blah, blah, blah. But then it also says you can try this with just about any morning activity, like styling your hair, shaving, doing your makeup, doing your makeup. Doing your makeup. Hold on. Everybody, what's up? It's your homie. Psh, you already know. <laughs> Welcome to my MS lifestyle. And if you've watched my um any of my other videos, welcome back. Hey bestie. <laughs> but no, I'm still going through this book, you guys. Keep your brain alive. Um trying out these different aerobic exercises in my normal daily life. <laughs> but um, no, last video though, we discussed what aerobics are. Um, how these unconventional like exercises that switch up your normal routine can help your like dendrites and everything of your cells like stay active and stay alive. <clears throat> we only briefly went over like the first um, suggested exercise, wake up and smell the vanilla. But today in this video, we're diving deep, deep, deep uh, into the rest of the practices associated with starting and ending each day. Okay. <laughs> So, in the book, beginning at exercise two, uh, on page 43, is titled, um, Shower With Your Eyes Closed. Ooh, peek -a <laughs> This is a practice for your tactical senses. It basically says to do your normal shower routine, but with your eyes closed. But, please, 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 disclaimer, make sure that you are safe with a secure and balanced stance or seat in the shower, like, before you start this. I like I don't want anybody to get like hurt or injured okay <laughs> but no um like I said it just want you to um try doing your normal shower routine but with your eyes closed you feel me so you're basically like you're feeling around for everything like the shower knobs to adjust the temperature um your razor for shaving soap um your wash rag blah 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 you're just feeling around for all of it just whatever you normally do like do it with your eyes closed <laughs> but no it goes on saying even though it is probably the least intrusive or time-consuming aerobic suggestion this shower exercise will wake up the brain as described on how neurobics work on pages 35 through 38 in the book you guys okay the next suggested exercise though is on page 44 and it's called brushing roulette it starts off saying to brush your teeth but with your non-dominant hand this includes opening the tube, applying the toothpaste, turning the water on, blase, blase. Um, but then <laughs> it also says that you can try this with just about any morning activity, like styling your hair. You can use your non-dominant hand to brush your hair and everything. Um, shaving, same way, and doing your makeup. But um, not with that doing your makeup with your non-dominant. No, I'm not good at doing makeup, so that's probably about it. But no, there's also smaller things like buttoning your clothes, putting in cufflinks, um, eating, and even using the television remote. Like, instead of, like, picking it up, like, with this hand, other one, you know? I just feel like this is a great way to use, like, the opposite side of your brain. Because the book quotes in the bottom section of the, of the page that, consequently, all those circuits, connections, and brain areas involved in using your dominant hand are inactive while their counterparts on the other side of your brain are suddenly required to direct a set of like behaviors in which they usually don't participate. Research has shown that this type of exercise can result in a rapid and like substantial expansion of circuits in the parts of the cortex <laughs> that control and process like tactical information from the hand. Okay? So the book also suggests like different variations of this too. Like if you, you know, wanna add to it and do some more. Um, like you can use like only one hand to get dressed or even using your feet and toes to put small, small clothes or whatever, um, like undergarments and whatnot in the laundry basket. I honestly, truly, I used to be one of those kids that picked everything up with my toes. <laughs> like, so I'm halfway there. <laughs> but no, the next exercise is a touch of style. So again, we're closing our eyes <laughs> to do things. But it says that um, 
extensive practice using the fingers to make like fine distinctions between objects or textures, it causes the expansion and rewiring of the brain areas involved in touch. So this has been used in like monkeys trained to use their fingers to get food and in brain imaging experiments done um, in blind human braille readers. But um, honestly, truly, I feel like all of that right there, that that just goes to show that these methods are like for sure, for sure, like tested, tested <laughs> to the fullest extent. <laughs> But um, that's a lot to take in, though. So let's see how these things work out in real life, you guys. I will meet you on the other side. <laughs> okay, so, so, you guys, I am right-handed. So this is my strong hand, my dominant hand. So my left hand is my weaker hand. So I'm going to use my left hand to brush my teeth. So let's do this. This feels, I mean, like, it feels different, no lie. Um, I mean, but just, like, because I'm not, you know, too, I don't know how, I don't know how to put it. It's like, it's just, it feels, it definitely feels like it's out of the normal. Like, this isn't my norm. You can definitely feel the difference. But, um, turn it off, because we don't waste water. We do not waste water. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. See, I'm already messing up. This is harder than it, this is harder than you would think, honestly, truly. Like, cause it's like you're so used to doing it one way, but like, yeah, do it the other way. I don't even know how to hold it with my left hand. <laughs> well, okay. This definitely feels weird. It feels so weird. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It just feels weird. Okay, so uh, clearly it is it's like it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, I mean, as you would think, I promise. But like, it it just it was an experience to say the least. <laughs> but no, okay. So next, let's go ahead and try to shower with our eyes closed. <laughs> no lie you seen how all that went down um honestly truly no lie some of those things were kind of hard because it's not what i'm used to but i'm going to keep doing them so i can get good at them <laughs> but all right so now let's see what other exercises the book has for us to try you guys um page 47 is practice number five um it's titled say what where it basically tells you to, I'm sorry, that was funny, but it basically tells you to experience life without sound or at least minimal sound, you know? By basically eliminating your sense of hearing, it causes your other like senses to kind of compensate or whatever, um, you can say. Or they basically go into like overtime, like overdraft type thing. 
But, um, yeah, you'll see if you try it that your sense of touch and sight kind of like amplify type thing. And like you can get earplugs from the dollar store or if you already um, like made up in your mind that, oh, I basically already do this when I put my AirPods in. Oh, I'm listening to music, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's cool and all, fine and dandy, but put your AirPods in, but just don't play music. You feel me? Because, like, the point is to still be aware and interactive with your surroundings and everything. You feel me? But just not to, you know, and it's just, like, don't completely shut it all out. You just, it's just trying to get your other senses more active. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> But no. So moving forward, the next practice on the following page says introduce novelty. And then it follows with a small list of examples to try. Um, <clears throat> it lists small things like changing up the order in which you do your morning routine, you know, like instead of getting dressed and then breakfast, do breakfast, then get dressed or whatever, whatever. Um, or even like swapping out your traditional bagel and coffee in the morning for something else like hot oatmeal and herbal tea, which that actually sounds good. I'm hungry right now. <laughs> no, but another way, um, you can even just like changing your radio or your morning TV show that you usually watch to something that you don't usually watch, you know, or listen to. But um, it also suggests to walk your dog on a new road, like different from what you usually take. So I feel you can get your dog included in this too, get his neurobase going. <laughs> but no, the section at the bottom says, brain image and studies show that novel tasks activate large areas of the cortex, indicating increased levels of brain activity in several distinct areas. This activity declined when the task had become routine and automatic. Much greater brain power is exerted for like novel versus automatic tasks. So that brings me back to that autopilot I talked to you guys about before. Like, like I said, like we have certain like everyday tasks that we do so often, like every day, back to back, same time, it becomes routine for us. Something we can do without even like thinking too hard on, you feel me? And it's like, that's why we're trying these neurobic exercises now to kind of wake our brains up. Like, hey, brain, hey, wake up. Like, excuse me. I've been giving you five more minutes for a lifetime now. <laughs> now it's time to get up, up. Come on. <laughs> Hello? What? Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> you feel me? If it's up, it's stuck. Like, but no. <laughs> I really like this next one, though. Number seven says, create a sensory symphony in the bath. It goes on to talk about how when it's the end of the day and you're ready to just chill and unwind to try something relaxing and neurobic like a nice warm bath you feel me <laughs> not too hot though because you don't want to start a utah's phenomenon flare up you know i'm not doing it <laughs> you know that's the lord knows that's not for me i'd hate that no <laughs> but no for real it just wants you to incorporate like different things to stimulate and awaken your senses for real like it says to use like aromatic body oils and soaps, um, sponges, loofah, body scrubs, do a bathe by candlelight, you know, pour you a nice little thing of champagne or tea if you're not into alcohol, you know, like you can even use like plush towels, play like some nice music, some, and use some bomb moisturizer to take care of your skin, period, what, no, <laughs> but no, a spa trip just might be an essential necessity at this point if you ask me. But I digress. <laughs> but no, we're back to talking about these fragrances, man. Like, for real. Like, listen, certain smells can be so great for stimulating your brain. I promise you. There's a scent for just about any and every single mood, honestly, truly. Like, for when you're, like, trying to unwind and you're in a meditative state, frankincense, sandalwood. Good morning. Frankincense, sandalwood, or the top preferred meditation fragrance mirror would be ideal. On the other hand, if you're looking for a mood pick-me-up scent, like you can use like lavender, um, pink grapefruit is a top preferred fragrance, or even fresh flowers can help with that. You feel me? Um, lavender is actually one of the most um, relaxing scents if you Google it. I promise, trust me, because I Googled it. <laughs> but that's why it's used to help aid anxiety and decrease fatigue and everything while helping with keeping focus. 
fragrances are amazing you guys to say the least i prom like i keep saying i promise you but that means that i'm telling the whole truth you know <laughs> but you don't have to stop there like the book said you can bathe by candlelight or if you're not into that personally in my home there's like colored light bulbs and like different lamps and whatnot so there's that <laughs> Or it's like, you can even just do what I do personally when I want to liven up the room and give it a splash of color and stuff. I just turn on my color changing ring light <laughs> and set it up to just like transition randomly. It's just flash, red, blue, blah, spins, everything. Feel me? I'm a good, great millennial. Y'all got to remember that. <laughs> but as far as switching up textures, I do sell like different loofahs and sponges with Robin Savant like this and like this. But um, for something with quicker access and a little bit cheaper, Dollar Tree has plenty of different loofahs and sponges for like literally a dollar. The real dollar dollar store. <laughs> Same with body oils. It doesn't have to be the expensive ones like Lush or Bath & Body Works makes. Unless that's what you prefer. If not, then you can just use like your favorite or whatever kind of oils you like honestly. Or robin savant <laughs> but no or you can even use things that you have at home like honestly truly like coconut oil with maybe a little bit of perfume just to give a nice you know <laughs> but the choices are endless honestly truly you guys moving forward though because this is starting to get a little bit long um the next exercise is aural pleasures this one is especially for the couples out there staying strong <laughs> but it's basically saying to read aloud with your partner. Um, it's very simple. Just take turns alternating between the reader and the listener. Um, I like this mainly because I just I like I like group things or like one on ones. Even though I'm hashtag forever alone. <laughs> But no, for real though, I just think it's sweet and can be very like intimate, like a real intimate moment for the two of you. Um, in the book, it's explained that when we read aloud and li or listen to someone reading, we use very different brain circuits than we read than when we read silently. In this old experiment back in the day, it says that listening to words activated two distinct areas in the left and right hemispheres of the cortex. <clears throat> While speaking words activated the motor and cortex of both sides of the brain, as well as another like part of the brain called the cerebellum, um, just looking at the words only activated one area of the cortex in the left hemisphere. Boom. So there's that. And hearing that, Loki honestly makes me want to like call my neurologist and ask him like, "Hey, Dr. Gilbert, what's up? Like, my next MRI. Like, we should read to each other while you're taking the images, like, so I can see." <laughs> but no, let me stop playing. <laughs> but no, the last and final neurobic um is the ultimate neurobic exercise, the thing that will stimulate your mind like no other. I'm talking about sex. <laughs> now don't get me wrong this isn't only fans i'm not giving out tips on how to improve anyone's sex game or anything blah 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 but this right here is spitting facts i promise you promise you like honestly it's just really just applying all the things you did for your sensory symphony bath during that special time you know with your partner or whatever you know, sex uses all of the senses and stimulates the emotional brain circuits, too. Because, like I said, you're, you're with Bay. you know? <laughs> or at least I hope you're with Bay. You're not just out here doing it randomly. <laughs> but no, I don't judge people. <laughs> but wow. Well, that was a lot to take in, y'all. That was a lot, a lot. I know this video is going to be so long, like, even after I edit it. But if you made it this far, congratulations. You got your first A plus in aerobics one on one with Miss Brian. <laughs> but no, I want to hear what um like what stood out the most to you or like what neurobic exercises you plan to use and whatnot. So leave me a comment down below. Um I don't know why I'm still pointing down. Like um I just I told you I see other YouTubers do this. <laughs> but no, you guys, I have an announcement. I have a website coming soon. For your MS everything that I come across from articles on like certain foods you should include in your diet and ones you should avoid 
to like simple exercises and some discussions, you know, just to help keep your mental health healthy. <laughs> but no, I'll leave a link to the um to the website in the description. Some more down pointing. I don't know. There's nothing in front of me. <laughs> but no, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and stay up to date with me and be at the next class session. <laughs> but always remember, stay safe, stay clean, and Brian loves you. Bye. <laughs>